Asparagus is one of my favourite vegetables, but it's quite expensive in the shops, so I prefer to grow my own. Asparagus is one of the few perennial vegetables, so it will require a permanent position in the garden and plenty of space to grow. It takes a little effort to prepare and plant an asparagus bed, but once established, it's quite a low maintenance crop and it will continue cropping for 20 years or more, so it's well worth the effort. The crowns have quite spidery roots, so preparation is really the key when growing asparagus. Once they're in the ground, these roots knit together and so it's virtually impossible to dig between them to improve your soil or to remove perennial weeds. So it's well worth taking the time at this stage to prepare your asparagus bed properly. Choose a sheltered sunny position on fertile well drained soil. Good drainage is essential for asparagus crops. Don't worry if your soil isn't perfect. You can dig in plenty of well rotted manure or garden compost to improve the soil structure and fertility. If you're gardening on a cold wet soil, then the addition of sharp sand or grit will also help to improve drainage. Make sure that the plot is completely weed free too. Asparagus grounds are usually planted in March or April, but you can plant them in the autumn if you prefer. Today I'm planting a variety called Pacific 2000. You need to start off by digging a trench of around 10 inches deep and 12 inches wide. Fill the bottom of each trench with about three inches of well-rotted manure or garden compost to help feed the plants in future years. The excavated soil can then be mounded up on top of the manure to form a ridge along the length of the trench. The idea is that the ridge of soil will support the fragile roots and ensure good drainage. Try to make sure that the top of the ridge sits at about soil level. Asparagus plants will need plenty of space in the coming years, so lay them out along the ridge at a distance of 18 inches apart. If you plant more than one row, then you'll have to place these at least 18 inches apart too. Place each asparagus crown on top of the ridge with their roots draped over the edges. Once in position, gently cover the crowns with three inches of soil to create a small ridge and then firm them in. Water them well to settle the soil. In future years, your asparagus plants will appreciate an application of fertiliser in March, just before they begin to produce shoots. When growing asparagus, it's important to resist the temptation to harvest the spears during the first season. Instead, allow the foliage to develop as this will help to feed the plants and encourage establishment for better, healthier growth next year. A limited crop of about half the spears can be harvested in the second year when they reach six inches tall. Now by the third year, you'll be able to harvest a full crop from April until the start of June. Cut spears individually at about two centimetres below ground level. You can buy special asparagus knives to make this job easier, but any sharp knife will do. Asparagus spears are fast growing, so you'll need to check your crops every day. It's recommended that you stop cutting by the start of June to allow any remaining shoots to develop into foliage. Throughout the growing season, your asparagus will need some attention, but they're not particularly demanding. It's always best to weed asparagus beds by hand, as the shallow roots can be easily damaged by using a hoe. It's also important to keep them well watered during hot periods to prevent the roots from drying out. Once the foliage begins to yellow in autumn, you can simply cut back the stems to ground level and mulch the rows with some well rotted manure to protect the crowns from winter weather. Then sit back and look forward to another lovely crop of asparagus spears next spring.